Wait. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Fisher Girls. You picked up this beautiful aku from our friend AJ. We're gonna cut it up, bring it down to sections, and get ready for some delicious fish dishes. Stay tuned. for this episode of Fishing Girls! Cutting skin. Alright, first things first, we're gonna cut behind the collars, both sides, come around the pectoral fins on both sides, rip off the head one speed, and then get ready for flays. Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fish and Grills. This time we'll be cooking up the skipjack tuna, or in Hawaii it's commonly known as aku. This fish can be found in fish markets around the world, mainly in Japan, Hawaii, and Indonesia. <laughs> this is a popular fish that fishermen use as live bait to catch bigger marlins. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna rip off the guts and we're gonna take off the collars. We're gonna smoke it on a grill later. It can grow up to about 70 pounds, but the average species size in the market is typically about 15 to 25 pounds. The aku mainly feeds on shrimp, squid, and other smaller fish. State record coming in at 40 pounds caught off Holly Eva back in 2000. With its rich red meat, low in calories, and fat packed with proteins, potassium, and other vitamins. All right, now we're gonna flay it from the top, shoulder down to the tail, from the bottom to the belly, Play right through. Okay, now that I'm through, now I'm gonna fillet. There's no wrong way to do this, but there are better ways. <laughs> and also, Fisher Girls, we're always learning, so if you're gonna teach me later, more than happy to learn. Now I'm at the bone. Salvo! <laughs> you like some fish? <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I'll go for the next episode. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll go. I like the head, I like the head. You like this part? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get some solids. Okay, now with that both fillets, I'm gonna just chop, chop it off the spine. It's best prepared as sashimi, poke, seared, or grilled. Ooh. One side fillet. Oh, we have eggs here. Looks like we have some eggs over here. And if you watched our previous episode, we know that we don't waste we don't waste the eggs. These are very are very delicacy. Fried in butter, garlic, or some hot rice. Winners. Whew, bloody mess. Okay, let's go to the other side. All right, next side, same process. And just like a lot of other pelagic fish, it's been known to carry a lot of mercury, but in low amounts, it's not too harmful to humans or it can be harmful for pregnant women. Way go, way go, way go. All right, here we go, guys. This is the spine. We're gonna scoop meat off this after. Here we have two beautiful fillets. Now let's break it up to sections. All right, the first section we want to take off is the belly part. Most people just use it for bait and other things, but fried in butter garlic, delicious. A lot of rich, fatty meat. Oh, extra good. Belly. Off to belly. All 
right next we're going to cut it down the spine bone and then separate it in loins one beautiful loin right here bottom line right there we have the spine mostly blood people you can eat it but it has that more of a gamey flavor to it. You can use it for bait, or you just fry it up. Spine. Bottom line. Okay, so we have the head, collar, we have the spine, upper loins, lower loins. This is the, the pin bones, the middle bones. Belly. Now let's cut it up into smaller portions. Start bagging it up. Here first, we're gonna chop the collars in half. Right, aqua bellies. Probably the most underrated part of the fish that a lot of people forget about, which probably makes the best aku poke spoon meat. See right there? That's why I don't like to try to fillet the fish too good because I like more spoon meat. Okay? So it's just like with oil, with like with ava, all the other spoon meat fish, do the same thing with this. Okay? Watch and learn. Kind of check it as you go and then we're going to check it again later too but kind of makes your job a little bit easier we check it before you check it again so i want to see the bones are going this way i want to just go with with the grain pretty good so we have our spoon meat upper loin lower loin we have our aqua belly collars and our spines all broken down ready to go stay tuned for some delicious fish dishes hi welcome back everybody here we have is our aqua cuts Okay, I'm gonna explain to you each cut. So we have our ground aku. We're gonna make a nice pokey with it, Hawaiian style. We have our upper loin. We're gonna make a classic sashimi side roast. I'll be show you. This one we have our lower loin. We're gonna make flash shared with butter and garlic. We have our spine, garlic, salt, pepper, little bit flour, fried crispy east side. Same with our collars and for our aku belly, cooking butter and garlic. Here's our ingredients. We'll explain more of that later. Stay tuned. All right, for our first stage, we're gonna make ground aku pokey. I wrap it in a paper towel so it kind of gets a lot of that moisture out. All right, for our first ingredient, chili pepper water. We're gonna add it in, top up the meat, adds a nice flavor to it. As you see, this is gonna absorb all that moisture, fluff up the meat. When you buy the green onion from the store, cut it off the roots, put the roots back in a cup of water. This is in two weeks.
I'm always sweet onion. Okay, next ingredient. We got dry shrimp. Inamora. Kukuina. Lima Kohu. Last ingredient, a little drizzle of sesame seed oil. And for our first taste test there, Our next taste tester. Back to me. Some shrimp, some onions, some fish. A lot of flavor. Want to try next? Winner! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this bug is gonna be good, cousin. Oh, nah! Alright, for our next dish, we got classic sashimi. I'm gonna use the upper loin. It's the most cleanest, most service meat on the fish. Let's get started. Classic Aku Shishimi, Sai Shori Wasabi. And for our first taste test there. <laughs> All right, let's see. You put in the wasabi chili. No cabbage for this one. Oh, yeah. And for our next taste test there. Oh, yum. I love sashimi. For our next taste tester, how's it Hawaiian? You know, I don't know what this is, but this one is pretty cherry. Oh, that's the one. Okay, for our next taste tester, classic sashimi with the cabbage. Can't go wrong. Fish, show you wasabi. Winners. And for our next dish, guys, we've got the lower loin over here. We're gonna cut it into a little bit bigger size sashimi. We're gonna heat up some garlic and some butter. Real nice and crispy. We're gonna dump that over. Flash sear. Stay tuned. sashimi slices in my pan over here we're gonna fry up some garlic and some oil we're gonna add a whole bunch of garlic to it dump it on top flash sear just a little bit of oil to crisp up the garlic and once the garlic is all crispy we're gonna add in the butter psh, psh, dump it on the fish and in the butter Here we 
have is a flat seared aku, half cooked, butter garlic with some rosemary, a little bit of oil. We're gonna top it with some green onions. For our first taste tester, before we taste it, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon on it. Get that quick squirt. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, garlic butter, always good. That is the one. That's good. For our next taste tester, <laughs> I'm Shannon. <sharing that. laughs> That's the one, didn't go on. Oh, it's not bad. That's really good. All right, for the next dish, we got our aqua belly and our spine. We're gonna cook it the same coat of garlic salt pepper with some flour, fried in some butter and garlic. Now we got aqua fish eggs. Let's go. Here we are is our aqua belly, aqua spine, and aqua eggs cooked in butter and garlic. Here's to our first taste tester. All right, let's go. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> the belly is good. The skin on it. I love that crispiness. Okay, for the eggs. Aqua eggs. Let's get that one. Soft good, it doesn't taste like eggs. Yeah, it's edible for sure. <laughs> oh, it kind of tastes like manini. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. Aqua eggs taste like manini, he says. Interesting. Okay, fall off for the belly right there. Yeah, that's the, that's the good one. <laughs> that's aqua eggs. Oh, big bite. Now I look like it. Tastes like That's too good for my own good. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Aqua belly. <laughs> if I'm happy, you're gonna be happy too, guys. All right, so here's our final products. We have our aqua bottle pokey. We have our classic sashimi with shoyu wasabi. Flash here at butter garlic and our fried crispy aqua scraps. Thanks for joining us today, we had a blast. Good times, good grinds with good people. And always, stay tuned to the next episode of Fish and Grill. And always mahalo scoop scoop for always providing top quality desserts. <laughs> oh, it's hot. <laughs> so hot. Yummy. Wow. Has a kick to it. No. Oh. <laughs> Blooper. <laughs> <laughs> wow.